my God is real, for he has washed and made me whole. Listening to the sweet voice of Quentin McCool sing old gospel songs, you'd never guess that he spent half his life homeless and addicted to heroin. The drug, it took me down a path. I mean, it took me further than I wanted to go, and it kept me far along than I wanted to stay. His long slide into life on the streets started after his 18-month-old son was accidentally shot and killed by his brother-in-law. He just happened to be playing in the hallway. In, in, uh, in the doorway when my brother-in-law dropped his rifle and the rifle went off. I questioned God. I was just mad. I was angry, really, really angry. I could not understand. I said, God, why did you take my son? It's just hard to think about. It's hard to live with the fact that my son was gone and I'd wake up in the middle of the night sweating and going on. I'd, I could see my son running through the house, you know, in, in my own mind. He just couldn't accept the idea that he was gone, you know, and it just took him down. He went down. I was introduced to a drug called heroin, and uh, the feeling that it gave me was a hiding feeling. I could hide my feelings, and I felt as though I was there all by myself, and my best friend became heroin. Quentin and Cynthia had two more children and tried to maintain a happy home. But his heroin addiction consumed his life. Quentin and Cynthia separated. Before long, he was a homeless heroin addict. Sleeping outside, eating out the dumpster many a night. I laid awake crying out cardboard boxes, sleeping in fields with a bunch of other people who didn't care about themselves. And I was stuck in that situation. There were periods in my life when I would, would wake up to the fact that this ain't how you're supposed to be living. You got a family. You got children. You got two, two little daughters, you know. And I just couldn't get out of it. That drug had me so bound up that I couldn't even think straight no more. All I could do was just live, get through the night, live another day to get another drug in me. And that became my life. He made a sign and became a panhandler by the interstate. When he got a little money, he spent it all in one place. I would take that money and go give it to the drug man. And when my drugs were up, I'd go back out there and do it. And I did this day in, day out, day in, day out for a few years. And the sign said, work for food or money. God bless you. Have a blessed day. It was like I was spitting in the face of God. I was using his name for my own selfish needs. After years of living on the streets, Quentin saw his reflection in a mirror. He was shocked by what he saw. I didn't smell good. I didn't look good. It was just a horrible sight. I can remember that. Crazy thing how the drug can hide you from reality to where you, you really don't take notice to how you really are. Something came to me in my mind saying, you got to get out of here. You're going to die down here. I started remembering the sayings that my mother told me about the Word of God and being obedient to the Word of God. So I prayed to God to get me out of this. He called the pastor of Grace Centers of Hope, a Christian drug and alcohol recovery center he had been to years earlier. Pastor Clark sent an old friend of Quentin's to pick him up. I was so excited, I was like a little child who hadn't seen his father in a long time. I remember I left my bags, I left my belongings, all my paraphernalia I tossed out the window. I jumped up and grabbed him and hugged him. I was just spewing with tears, I, and, and, and all I could say was, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, you heard my cry, because I, I thought he didn't hear it. I just didn't think he heard it, but he heard it, and he sent help for me. While Quentin was in the recovery program, he says God freed him from his heroin addiction, and he reunited with his wife. I look at my house, I mean, even down to the key, having your own key to your door. I mean, greeting your wife, hugging your wife, your wife smiling now. God is wonderful. <laughs> he just turned everything around in our life. And I know if he can do it for me, he can do it for anybody. So I have wonderful days now. 
I have glorious days. I've been blessed to sing back with the men of grace. And uh, we go out and we sing the testimony and we tell the testimony. And our job is to let folks know that what God has done for us, he can do for you too. I prayed to God, I said to God, you come get me, I'm gonna serve you for the rest of my days. For the rest of my days, no matter what. And I still have trials and tribulations. Things aren't perfect, as I said. But I do know one thing, my God is real. My God is real. My God is real, for he has washed and made.